Assalamualaikum guys, so recently I came across this video from O'Shea, O'Shea Duke Jackson. If you don't know who he is, he does a variety of topics on YouTube, he's a career YouTuber, you could say, but he also does Black Manosphere content, so he's very balanced, he's very balanced in his approach and how he, he deals with things, and he did this video, okay, now normally I don't do this stuff, but this video to me was so, like, shocking right i said i have to react to this video to this video okay so let's get into it shall we Assalamu alaikum. mr moderator our distinguished guests brothers and sisters our friends and, and our enemies <laughs> but now you have a group of men who can't leave the united states some of these guys have felonies some guys have too many kids, and some guys just aren't interested in leaving the United States. So now, men are looking to do something else to save their wealth, which is, well, let's play that clip and then we'll talk about it soon. What do you do for a living? I own my own construction. I do oh, uh, demolition and reconstruction. Construction, okay. Do you have any kids? Seven boys. You have seven kids? Yes. By how many women? Three. What are your kids' ages? Uh, one is... 24, uh, 13, 11, 9, 6, 5, 2, uh, 5, and probably 2. Why are you not with the 2-year-old, Mom? Oh, she's upstairs. She's She's upstairs. Uh, what's going on? What are you looking for tonight? <laughs> I'm looking for a straight man that can, so huh? I can get, we can get together and I can get a new bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry, man. I had to laugh at that, man. But yo, man, we're not done yet, man. We just getting started, okay? So just, just bear with me, okay? <laughs> so, uh, man, okay, let's go. Just keep going. Let's keep going. I just want benefits with us to be together, and we can uh, work together, and don't got to worry about all the bullshit in, in a uh, marriage. Like, we get, we have my money you're to so you're bisexual? No, I'm straight. I just want another straight man. We can work together <laughs> without all the bullshit. We can, he can have all the, good, all the girlfriends he wants. I can have all the girlfriends I want. We just got the partnership act on paper. <laughs> I'm so confused. So you want to have, so are you bi? You're not bisexual. No, I just want uh, somebody, a kind of, you know me, I don't got to worry about nobody have my money. We can build together, work, work on stuff, and Here's, we can have girlfriends, I can have girlfriends. Here's, are you trying to be funny? <laughs> no, I'm for real. Like, like, a, like a best friend. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like a best friend, but we get married, we can get all the benefits. If you're not catching it, okay, is he wants to get married to a straight man. He is a straight man, okay? And the reason why he wants to get a, married to a straight man is because he wants the benefits of a marriage, but not with a woman. You understand? He doesn't want a relationship with this man. He just wants the tax benefits, the you know, the financial benefits. You know that you could purchase things together, like a business partner. You know all these benefits that you get with with marriage, right? So this is what feminism is leading to now. I've I've never even heard of this idea before. I I will admit it's creative and imaginative. And it, it, something that will actually work in the West. However, this right here is what the results of feminism is leading to. Because feminism is not just some idea. It is actually being pushed by Western governments. So now men, you know, are using their logic t to avoid being trapped by women. And this is the idea that he came up with. Now, let's just keep watching, man. Let's keep watching. So you want to hear so you want to marry a straight man? Yeah, but we can be all, we have our girlfriend, but we can all have. Why would you tell me as a straight man, you want to marry another straight man? Just for benefits. What straight man is I what straight man? I don't know. I, I think a couple. I, 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 we didn't me and my homeboy. We didn't talk about it. And we were all homeboys. We were like, that doesn't sound kind of good because we don't got to worry about all the, the, the bullshit that comes with the modern day women. We just, we just, we just well, need benefits. Have seven kids. I think women just say the ones with the bullshit you come with. You have seven kids by three women. It ain't no walking apart because it was you. <laughs> but, but my, me, we said my seven kids. All my kids are, um, they, <laughs> You see how Kendra G, she's getting triggered now because now she's seeing that a sh even straight black men don't want to deal with straight black women like that because there are too many problems, right? So this this right here is mind blowing, to be honest. It's absolutely mind. I don't know how O'Shea found this, <laughs> but this is crazy, man. But anyway, let's keep watching. Let's keep watching. Hey boy, not taking all my kids. It don't matter. Anyone that all my kids, kids look towards me. You have, number, you have seven kids, so that means she's signing up to be number eight. Right behind your children. Why would a woman say, I want to be eighth in line in anything in life? If, if, if you're gay, just say you're gay. 
It's okay. We are, 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 we He's not even joking. He's not trolling. He's not. He's not. He's dead serious. If this was like maybe 15, 20 years ago, you know, I, I we'd be like, you know, maybe he's crazy. But in twenty twenty three, you'd be like, no, no, this this can actually work. And you, I promise you, I promise you, you're gonna, you are going to find straight men marrying other straight men in order not to get juiced and gassed by a heavily feminist judicial system. From black women. And here's the other thing that Kendra J doesn't understand. Even regardless of whether or not he has seven children by three, three uh, you know, baby mamas, the mother of his two year old is upstairs. Regardless, of, he still he can still find a woman. It's it's the women that are in that similar situation will have that will have problem. Not the men. As a matter of fact, if you look at the pregnancy rates within like the black community. You find a lot of women who have these type of children outside of marriage, and ironically, fifty percent of, of of single black men, around fifty percent, I don't know an exact number, but it's around fifty percent, don't have any children. I believe the number is like seventy or eighty percent of black women do have children. So that means that twenty percent of the men are impregnating eighty percent of the women. So it'll be easy for him <laughs> to find another. Are you kidding me? He's 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 got money. He's got his own business. You know he's doing demolition. But women in that situation, men and women are different. And she, she's she she's getting in herself now because well, what do you think you who do you think you are with seven kids? You know, trying to avoid straight black women. Now you don't even want to marry a straight black woman. You want to marry a straight black man. So that, <laughs> you know, you can avoid the responsibility of taking care of a black woman. This is nuts, man. Anyway, let's keep watching, y'all. Just walking your truth. So see, guys, um, this is pretty interesting, right? Here you have a man who has seven kids by three different women. His last baby mama, because the latest child he has is two years old, is actually in the house. He doesn't want to marry her. He's looking, however, to marry a heterosexual man on paper to get the benefits. Now, of course, you heard Kendra G attacking a guy's sexuality. He's bisexual. He's all of this and all of that. But and it does sound very strange and very odd. But, I mean, guys, have you ever heard of people in other countries claiming to be gay just so they can get asylum to come to the United States? Or come That's another great point that O'Shea made here, man. That's an excellent point because I've, I've read newspaper articles about that myself, particularly from other Muslim countries where Muslims would pretend to be gay, saying that they're being, uh, what you call it, discriminated against and oppressed in some Muslim country somewhere, only so that they can get citizenship in the West. Yeah, but that's what they do. That's what they do. They pretend to be gay to get the benefits that gay people will get. Can I? because they want to leave their, their, their country where they don't feel there's an opportunity. It happens all the time. And there are a lot of people who say they're gay just to get out of the country. And once they get into their country, all of a sudden those guys got delivered. And now they're not gay no more. And I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. I don't like men no more. I don't like women. Women, 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 women. women. <laughs> so, you know, let's get back to this. This guy says, and you heard him say it, I'm looking for a straight man. I, um, I'm looking for a partner financially. So I can still have my girlfriends. I don't want to marry a woman. I want to get the benefits, the tax benefits of a marriage. And since men and women can get married, here's what you might just start to see. Women or men both marrying each other, knowing that they have no real interest in each other, but to save money. And I know it's over the top for most people. But in this case, it seems to be an interesting strategy. Don't want to get canceled, right? And now, what, now let's, let's just deal with the strategy for where it's at. The guy says he doesn't trust the woman he has his kids with to give the money to. He feels that she's going to take it away. And if you look at the statistics, he's right. He's probably paying child support, but he'll pay child support, okay? He wants yep. to marry a man, and I'm not saying that he should do that, but he's doing that to get away from the idea of giving his assets to a woman and what she feels like he's going to lose them. He wants the benefit of having a wife or sex or having in-house, but he doesn't want to marry her. And let me tell you this, this isn't so far-fetched from what's happening right now. Rewind, Zima! <laughs> Let's go back to the 90s. In the 90s, you know, I was a big basketball fan. We had the likes of Clyde Drexler, guys like Charles Barkley, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen and Larry Bird, although he was getting ready to get out of the league. And what did these guys ha all have in common? All of these men 
were married. In today's NBA, most guys are not married. In the NFL, most guys, especially blacks, are not married. That wasn't the case in the 80s and 90s. And, 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 and what do you see from athletes? They have a lot of babies. In ba this is another amazing point. And you're not talking about very long ago. You're talking about, you're literally, you're, really, you're talking about maybe one, one, one generation, possibly two generations, right? The 90s was not that long ago. Men are not looking to get married, including Muslim men, at least to Western women or Western raised women, because there are two, the, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. Way too many men, particularly Western men, have been burnt so badly financially by Western women that they're just opting out of mar marriage altogether. Right? And that is the consequences of feminism. Baby mamas, but they don't want to marry a woman. But guys want lower taxes. Guys want better benefits. And married people do get benefits that single people do not. So this is the way to cheat the system. But that system would not exist if men believed that modern women wouldn't leave them in divorce. And again, I am not trying to say this is acceptable behavior at all. But you see what men are willing to do to get this, you know, to get away. This is this is ridiculous. You already have passport, bros. Now you have this. So anyways, I want to know what y'all think about that, man. Leave some comments in the comment section, right? To me, I think this will, this, this strategy will actually take off. I think you might actually see more people implementing this, this strategy, if, if I had to guess. Even women raised in the West, they might not initially have these ideas, these feminist ideas, but because they are incentivized by the the judicial system, Western governments to to nuke their families in order to get money from from men for free, for free, you know, then, of course, this this sounds like a logical strategy. Anyways, like, subscribe, share, leave some comments. So I'm going to later, Captain. Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her and she'll give you a million dollars for it, you'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you we're using rocks for currencies, chump.